Well, hello guys. This is my video about the unboxing of the Radeon HD4850. Well, as you see, this is the box, the HD4850. It's pretty normal box, like every ATI card. It's uh, not not very special. It's the 512 megabyte version. It's a Sapphire Radeon. And um, yeah, so this is the box. Let's look at the different sides of the box, the back, the sides. Well, the front. Yeah, pretty normal. Normal case, normal box. Nothing special about it. So let's open it. If you open it, you see uh, another box in it. So you take out that box. And you open it where all the stuff is in. Okay, so you open it and you will see. You will see uh, the manual, the, ma the guide, you know, the installation guide. So. This is the installation guide. You can, uh, if you don't know how to install it and everything, it just explained in there. So no problem. Everything explained. So that's the guide. Next thing. Yes. Next thing is the six pin. So Molex to six pin. Just in case if you don't have. 6 pin on your current power supply you can just plug this in and you will have um, 6 pin that you can plug into your graphics card because this graphics card needs a 6 pin without the 6 pin it will not run so that's the 6 pin and you will also find a component adapter S video to component so you put the S video in your graphics card you activate it you know and you plug the component into your television and you will have great great QLD on your television the next thing is it's a um, DVI to HDMI converter as you see DVI to HDMI this is great you can connect it to uh, HD televisions also we have a DVI to VGA and the next thing I'm taking out is well it's a crossfire bridge so if you want to run two of these cards it is possible with a crossfire uh, so you can just run two or three of these cards but if you want more you can buy another cross fiber so it's a great very very nice so the next thing a driver installation CD DVD or however you want to call it this one is essential without the drivers you can't run the graphics card if you run Windows 7 it will install the drivers automatically okay so that's the CD and you also got a small, what was it called? It was a, oh yeah, S video to normal television. It's a standard, you know, for standard televisions you can connect it. Nothing special. And this, this is the graphics card, guys. So let's take it out. The graphics card not the box not all the stuff in the box except for this we have waited for this and now it's gonna come out it's the HD 4850 guys there it is isn't it pretty look at it it's like a, it's like a claw it's like a foot what you see on it and it's it has copper heat sinks on it and a nice little fan which surprisingly keeps it pretty 
pretty cool if I put it in above 60%. So it runs pretty cool and every everything, you know, if the, if the cooler if it turns, everything on the cooler or the all the air is being uh, you know when it turns all the air is being blown out of these holes which you see right here these holes the air is going to be blown out of those holes also out of those holes under it so it keeps it pretty cool well take another good look at the card Sapphire Radeon HD4850 great performance so the back is nothing special this is the uh, graphics card it's a single slot so it can fit in most of the computers it's not very long though it's just about let's say 10 20 23 centimeters something like that well take a look this is a dual link DVI what you have here so you can hook up two monitors to your graphics card and also S video so you can connect it to your television that's very nice it also has audio coming straight out of the HDMI adapter if you connect it so it, it says audio you don't have to put different Oh yeah, and this is the 6-pin uh, power connector. This is essential. Without the 6-pin it will not run. Because it simply needs much power, much, much power to run. Also, if you want an aftermarket cooler, just take this piece out. You can place an aftermarket cooler, it's no problem. So, if you want it, I, yeah, I don't need it. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool like this, so I don't need an aftermarket cooler. But if you want one, take one, put that instead of the stock cooler. So this is the HD4850. Thanks for watching, game testers. I sold my 9500 GT. So I've only got this one. So if you want benchmarks, you will get benchmarks from this graphics card. Not from the 9500 anymore. So, thanks for watching. This was Game Testers.